There was some big news shared on Thursday for Frasier fans, Paramount Plus revealed that B.B. Newworth is set to guest star on Frasier to reprise her role as Lilith. And an episode description was also posted, when they reunite at Freddy's birthday party, Lilith, in classic form, is far from pleased about having to share Freddy, Jack Cutmore Scott, now that Frasier is back living in Boston, the release reads. It was added, what begins as a fun party with friends and family, inevitably becomes a Lilith and Frasier showdown for the ages. And the series logline is, Frasier is off to a different city with new challenges to face, new relationships to forge, and an old dream or two to finally fulfill. Frasier has re-entered the building. Frasier comes from writers Chris Harris, How I Met Your Mother, and Joe Cristalli, Life in Pieces, who executive produce with Kelsey Grammer, Tom Russo and Jordan McMahon. The series is produced by CBS Studios in association with Grammar's Gramnet NH Productions. And the streamer is Paramount Plus, as previously announced, James Burroughs is set to direct the first two episodes. This comes a month after it was revealed Anders Keith will play David Crane, the son of Daphne, played by James Leaves, and Niles played by David Hyde Pierce. Deadline shared that the actor had been cast as the offspring of the Lovebirds for a sequel to the beloved show which aired from 1993 until 2004. This will be Keith's first screen job as he is fresh out of Juilliard having graduated in May 2022. Jess Salguero was cast as Eve who is friends with Frasier's son. Already cast are Nicholas Lindhurst, and Jack Cutmore Scott as Frasier and Lilith's sons Freddy. Kelsey is starring in the sequel. Leaves and Pierce will not be on board and neither will Perry Gilpin, who played Roz Doyle. John Mahoney, who played the dad of Frasier and Niles, died aged 77 in 2018. David is a college freshman who is awkward but enthusiastic with his mother's agreeable smile, it was shared by the site. Daphne gave birth to David during the Frasier finale in 2004. He is named after the series co-creator David Angel who died in the September 11th attacks. The Frasier sequel takes place in a new city. In a very funny way, it just took us to a new place, which was what we originally wanted to do, anyway, which was a Frasier third act, Grammer told People in a November interview. It's an entirely new life for him, the 90s saw Grammer propel to nationwide fame on the Cheers spin-off series, Frasier, with the actor reportedly in talks for years to try and revive the show. Paramount Plus confirmed the reboot had been in development in February 2021, with Grammar announcing last July that the scripting was underway.